town meeting to order at 7 o'clock. Um, my agenda is on my phone. We, we don't have any warrants to sign that I'm aware of. Nobody told me that there is. Um, that sounds good. Makes sense. Because this is a special meeting. Mm -hmm. Special meeting um, mm -hmm. of the select board. We have a very short agenda. Um, the first item is the, the minutes of February 27th, which was continued to March 2nd. Mm -hmm. And I have some minor edits that I made. And I brought copies for everybody, actually. Um, they had time to print things today. Um, Did you review that motion? What motion? The one that John made and then it got rescinded. And I wanted to make sure I got it right. Uh, I had it in red. Motion to rescind the approved. Let, let's, well, let me get to that. Let me go through the, my amendments. That's right. The motion, you think the motion is correct? That's okay. exactly stated. Okay. All right, so then the other. I wasn't sure if I got it right. Yeah, you got it. The, the edits that I. Do you have copies for everybody? Yeah. Um, they're very minor. Okay. But um, the. The draft minutes reflected 60,394.64 in the ARPA funds, and that's that's the correct number, but it isn't what I was getting when I was doing math on the fly that night. So I don't want to have that in <coughs> minutes because it's inconsistent with the conversation that night. So, um, so just take that out. Yes, yes. just overcommitted period. Okay. All right. And then the next point I think is uh, it's important to clarify the question was asked and I, Sharon Wynn Fannin, clarified that the board had overpromised but not overspent. Right. Exempt for funds already well distributed right. to Fiverr and spend on CB Fiverr and spent on speed signs spent. Spent. Um, the funds are still available. So um, those are the two okay. minor changes that I had. Was there anything else? The folder. That's it. From, that's, those are the, those are the. Okay, so the ones in the folder, are they? Correct now, so I can send them to Jamie to post. Yes, although they look like this, they have a, they have track changes in there. Okay, so I should fix that before I send. Them yes, to okay. and the thing that's in red. Okay, so we need. So, I think we need a motion to approve minutes from the twenty seventh, with minor right. edits as discussed. So and March second. And Mar continued to March second. Correct. Thank you. So I move approval of the minutes for February 27th, continued to March 2nd, with the minor amendments, minor, uh, minor corrections made by the chair. Okay. Second. All right. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Uh, okay. Uh, second, we uh, talked at our last meeting about doing a resolution. Mm -hmm. um, there was one that we developed and then posted. Um, I gave it to you. Yes, and then um, one minor one suggestion from uh, from Stephanie who saw the posted version. So this is different than what was posted and made public. Is the uh, in the second or third no fourth whereas which begins whereas the Calus Conservation Commission. I'll read the whole thing. Discuss the curb cut ordinance and. Six duly warned meetings between August 2022nd and February 2023rd. And I went back and looked at every single. Um, there were more meetings where it was mentioned, but most of them said, several of them said that, that Stephanie was going to check with the lawyer. So I, six is actually substantive discussion at the Conservation Commission. Mm -hmm. um, and then, and the Cal, and this is the addition, and the Callis Select Board noticed. The Conservation Commission's work informally several several times in the past year noted noted their work. So you know we would raise up, we would go through, and I would say they're working on it. Uh, then discuss proposed revisions as a warm topic on January 23rd, February 13th, and February 27th. All three of those meetings, we had that Conservation Commission uh, or the curb ordinance cut ordinance um, noticed and warned as a topic and to discuss it substantively. And it's in the minutes. And it's in the minutes. Mm -hmm. And so that, you know, I didn't put this in, but the upshot is there were nine substantive meetings, which okay. apparently is not enough. Apparently not. So well, anyway, with, the, with those. With those changes. Yes. Thank you. So I make a motion that we approve 
the resolution as noted with the addition of the amount of meetings that the select board held in addition to the Conservation Commission. Second. Dan, I don't speak speaking for you. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. So, is there any? I'm not about to ask if there are any other items of discussion. Um, Dan, you would like to? Make sure. A um, so, first, I'm going to just say thank you, guys. You know, it's your last. Uh, Dan Singleton. Um, so I just want to say thank you for your coming out for your last night at work. Thank you for your service. I'll try not to make too much of an issue of a problem. Uh, and also apologize for not being involved sooner. Um, just, just busy. And so I did have a couple comments based on the, on I think the most current revisions. Are you talking about the resolution? Because that's the only thing we're talking about. Or the draft. You're talking the about draft. The draft. Yeah, the draft. That's great, Dan, but all we're passing tonight is a resolution saying that we encourage the, okay. the, the select board in the next term to take it up. Okay. I was assuming that you had No, we're not, no, we're not, we're not no, doing yeah, it's not the current ready cut for, at all. It's not ready. We're, we're ready. noting that it's 90% done, a lot of excellent work was done, and we, so I'll just for your benefit, and if you can read this generally with the edits we've made tonight um, on the website, I think Jamie attached it to the calendar for tonight's meeting. Uh, the Town of Calais Select Board, so there was a series of whereas we kind of walked through the history. And then we say, now therefore, the Town of Calais Select Board expresses its belief that the curb cut ordinance in its proposed form is 90% complete and is an enormous improvement over the 2004 version. We urge immediate focus and passage in the upcoming 23-24 term of the Calais Select Board. This is, that's our passage. So what Sounds you good. should do is, I mean, if they take it up, and we're urging them to take it up, there will be an opportunity for you to hear it. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll right. I mean, to testify, you should do that. Okay. Hey, John, you're here to Thanks for coming, Dan. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, all in favor, please say aye. aye. John, aye. John, we're voting on the resolution. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Unanimously approved. What's going on? Um, I'll pass it this way first, and we don't have a round robin on tonight, but it's, so I'm just going to jump in while John settles in. Hey guys, let's keep ourselves going. Um, uh, I got an email from somebody who might be on the new select board asking us to put in the record a spreadsheet of ARPA funds allocation, which um, I have here and you guys have all seen, and I just want to say that out loud, so it's kind of the minutes that we're submitting and attaching, I don't know, I guess, no, let's just say that we'll forward it to the newly, to the newly elected members of the select board after tomorrow's election. How does that sound? I think it's good, it's in the record, right? That's, that's the point. This is we're saying that we're forwarding it to them. We're saying that out loud. There is a spreadsheet. As people have asked for it, I've shared it. Um, and we're just, we're just saying that out loud. Huh? Did you prepare this? I well, I worked with Denise's base, and yes, I did. Thank you. Well, both of you for that. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay, so we're just saying that we're, we're just saying that out loud. That there is a spreadsheet. The actual town meeting. Right. The actual number that is over allocated was sixteen thousand three ninety four sixty four. Okay. All right. So that's said out loud okay. for the record. And now we are on to Rose. a roads report, Rick. Well, uh, right now we've got uh, uh, the guys who are primarily focused on this on uh, keeping the roads clear. We had two, you know, two trucks went down, but they were repaired. Right now we've got a spinner that just went out, but they were repairing that today. It's probably already fixed. It was the spinner which- Oh, I'm sorry, it's for uh, sand? They, they had changed the change, but uh, I think they had something mined up and it probably did a, knocked a, a, either a shear pin or a, or a uh, keyway cut loose. So Peter was working on that today, so that should be up and running. But everything's going pretty well. I had them actually shovel out these steps today. He was, they were out, they cleared out the school and these parking lots. They pushed back a lot of the snow. 
to improve the parking availability for town meeting. So, uh, yeah, we're looking. They were, they were, uh, they're actually going to be off tomorrow. The weather's looking good, and they need a break. They've been plowing all for yeah. several days straight, so. Yeah, Peter said they're going to take the day off yeah. if they can. Yeah. Yeah. Unless, yeah. unless, it, unless something changes dramatically. But Is there anything in particular that needs to be noted for the record? No, as there's nothing. Transition? Yeah, no, I do. Right. Oh, you do, okay. Um, the incident that happened on oh. Thursday, Thursday, um, all of the, the forms been filled out online. Can you say what the incident is? Oh, the, the truck incident on Valentine Road with uh, the truck. One of the crew was driving and a resident, it was at the, that narrow bend where there's no, it's, it's narrow. Anyways. It's not near the bend, it was down in the bottom by Route 14 and that. Right on that, yeah, I can't explain. The first car from 14, you know, we talked about this yeah. before. Yeah. And it's constrained by the hillsides on both sides, and yeah, John had he had the plow. I was he had the wing plow right in the dirt. Work. Oh, sorry. Yes, <laughs> the wing plow was in the in the bank, and, and it's and, a, and, he, and they okay. So, so let's just let do these kids. Are I got I've got, got to the form. I've got time. pictures from the road crew member, pictures from the resident. The forms have been filed online. Um, the estimate for the repairs to the resident's vehicle have been submitted. Um, and I have a statement from the road crew driver that I submitted and one from the resident. And she said she's all set at okay. VLCT passive. Okay. I think it's important for the record for folks to understand and not misunderstand that that road is narrow there, not as a result of any road policy. Right. But due to the topography, it literally was probably a hill that went straight across and it was carved into its sand, and it was carved into the hillside, or it's splitting, bifurcating the hill. And it's, the banks and bankments are steep on both sides, and in order to widen that road, I think the town would probably have to buy private property both sides and cut into that so they could shape the banks back. It is not the result of uh, roads policy or any policy uh, or the ordinance, the, the road ordinance. Road and bridge ordinance, and, which is yeah. currently road and bridge town. standards. Road and bridge standards, and it's not been purposefully narrowed. In fact, uh, when Alfred was here and Toby were here, it was an attempt to widen it as much as they can could, but they also ditched it both sides, which made it narrow. We had a conversation about that before, um, so okay. that's for a future select board to deal with. But Thank it's important. You. So there's no room to make. There's no ability to widen it, save for major reconstruction and then likely purchase of property, private property, beyond the existing right of way. Okay, because I want to make sure I put that in my minutes. Okay. Uh, um, anything else you want to add about no, that? No, that's it's pretty quiet. Okay, cool. I think we're ready then. Um, we're on to, uh, is there a motion to go into executive session on, under 1 VSA 313A? Um, Three yes. relating to so moved. employment of a public office or employee. Second, she moved. Yep, moved and seconded. All right. Um, so we're going to head into executive. Yeah, we're all set. Or are we going to?